instead of chasing your desires or trying to make them happen or even forcing them into being, they just come to you. You are not waiting for them. They just flow to you. You just get to receive them. You just get to allow them. loves welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here my name is Lorena I'm a somatic self-concept and manifestation coach and I support women to step into a new identity a new self-concept embody a new state of being sustainably and holistically so that you can manifest anything that you desire in your life and essentially bridge the gap between who you currently are and who you desire to be or become if you want more content on manifestation, changing your self-concept, shifting into a new state of being, reprogramming your subconscious and all that stuff, then please make sure to subscribe to my channel because that's all the stuff I talk about. That's everything I teach. And if you like this particular video, then please leave a like as well. And make sure to check out the links in the description box below because you'll find a bunch of free resources there as well as information on how to work with me intimately through my coaching program recreate yourself so before I get into today's video I just want to make a quick note because this entire video topic is about becoming irresistible to your desires so that they can pretty much effortlessly come in so that they can begin to chase you rather than you having to chase or seek them or even force them now I decided to film this yesterday and I woke up this morning and I felt completely under the weather. <laughs> I'm sniffly, I'm not feeling great, I just got my period. Then I realized, you know what, this is the perfect time to film this because there is this misconception that being irresistible or magnetic to your desires means you need to be in a perfect state all the time. You need to feel good all the time. You need to think positively all the time, but it's just not true. You can still manifest when you feel ill, when you feel under the weather, when you don't feel good in your body, when you have negative thoughts, when you have doubts. None of that is a barrier. However, there is such a thing as a state of being that will magnetize and attract and manifest the things that you desire with a lot more ease. But it's not about perfection. And that's really important to mention and I'm actually really glad this happened because that was not supposed to be part of the video. I did not plan to speak about this, but it's an important note to make because sometimes it can feel a bit overwhelming when people speak about it being effortless or when we talk about magnetism right it, it can appear like you need to be perfect at this and if you're not perfect or you're not feeling good all the time then you're doing something wrong and that's not the case in fact working with your emotions your undesirable emotions is one of the most important things that you can learn on your self-concept and manifestation journey learning to work with the parts of your subconscious that go against the very thing that you desire that's the most important lesson that you get to learn. And that is what the bulk of the method that I teach my clients in Recreate Yourself is based on. And the reason they experience such radical transformation with me is because we address the parts that don't align with the positivity and with the perfect state of being. Okay, but let's get into the topic. Let's first introduce what it means to be irresistible to your desires. What do I even mean by that? Because it sounds great, doesn't it? Being irresistible to your desires means that you don't have to push, you don't have to force, you don't have to try. It means that you're in a state where instead of chasing your desires or trying to make them happen or even forcing them into being, they just come to you. You are not waiting for them. They just flow to you. You just get to receive them. You just get to allow them. Now that's what we would all love all the time, right? And maybe you've had moments where you experienced this. Share in the comments if you've ever had periods in your life or if you've had manifestations that came through where you just got to allow and receive and you didn't have to do anything. These moments where you were just living your life and things just flowed. It can feel a bit intangible to trace back how to get into that state and it can feel a bit difficult to understand what you need to do to get into that state now if you're not in that state. 
but there is a way and that is the process that I teach it's very intentional and I'm gonna get to that later but when you're in that state where you're actually irresistible to your desires where opportunities just flow to you where your manifestations just come through even when you're not waiting for them where things just seem like they're in flux and in flow you feel that when you're in that state you can feel when you're in that state the manifestations that then come in even if they're surprising even if they are massive or seemingly massive it doesn't actually surprise you that much because it feels natural because it completely aligns with the state of being that you're in in that moment or maybe you've never experienced being in that state but either way this video is for you first things first your energy matters so what do I mean when I say energy? <laughs> what I personally mean by energy is the state of being that you're in and what you project out into the world. For example, when you project out neediness and desperation, that's exactly what you will manifest. When you search and you stay in longing, that's exactly what you will get more of. And when you wait for something to happen, you will get more waiting. But when you are in the right energy, and note that that does not mean perfect, you won't need to try so hard, nor do you need to wait and see. Things will flow, show up and come to you with a lot more ease. So what is the energy that effortlessly attracts what you desire without you needing to do anything? There's three components to this. Number one is conviction. That is a knowing, that's a trust, that's a faith, a deep faith that things are going to work out, that things are happening for you. That is what people call living in the end. It's where you're in complete alignment with the state or the reality that you want to experience so much that you're in a place of conviction. Your desire from here feels inevitable. And so the energy of waiting dissolves because you don't need to wait if you know it's here. The second aspect of this energy is detachment. Now that's basically where you are in the feeling, deep embodied feeling, not just conscious knowing, but deep embodied feeling of not needing it to happen. Even if it never happened, you're not waiting. You're not sitting there waiting for it. You're not impatient. Now you can see these two are already seemingly in conflict. You can kind of align the two and see, okay, well, if there is conviction that it happens, then obviously I'm not attached to it because then I'm not waiting for it. But there is a bit of a conflict because when you are in conviction, you should actually be connected to your desire, shouldn't you? Whereas when you're detached, you're doing other things. You're not concerned with it at all. So there's an integration that needs to happen. And I'm gonna speak a bit more about integration later in the video too. And then we have the third element, which is confidence. So that includes your embodied self-worth. So the feeling and knowing, not just conscious knowing again, but on every level, the knowing that you are deserving of that reality that you want, and also the confidence that you can and will make it happen. And with that often comes action as well. With that comes aligned action that aligns with that state of being and that aligns with that reality and that comes from a future version of yourself that you act from now. Now these three qualities, conviction, detachment, and confidence, to embody these seems simple. But if you've ever tried, you know that it's not that simple. If you've ever stepped into the unknown and we step into the unknown, we have to step into the unknown over and over again. And when we don't do that, we stay exactly where we are. We stay in our comfort zone. It's pretty hard to trust because you're in the unknown. How are you going to have conviction and trust that something is going to come to fruition when you have zero proof? Even if you've manifested things in the past, that will give you some sense of confidence but you don't have proof. You can never have proof that it's gonna work out. And then when it comes to detachment, when you really want something from the depths of your soul, it's such a deep desire of yours, it's pretty hard to detach from it because it's usually all you think about. It's usually the thing that's most important to you. You desire it so badly, so how can you just detach? And then the confidence piece, well, that's an ever ongoing journey. 
for all of us. Every human being on the planet struggles with their self-worth on some level or in some way, shape or form. Creating and embodying a self-concept that is so authentic to you that this is just the natural consequence that your manifestations will come in, that is absolutely possible for you. Now, it does not happen overnight. It is not a magic trick. But with the right approach and the right guidance, and when you really put in the work, things will begin to flow. In order to get into that state where you become irresistible to your desires and they flow to you, you first need to do things. And when people tell you that you don't need to do things, there's two reasons for that. Number one, they're lying. <laughs> they haven't done it themselves and they would just like to make it sound easy and simple and it's not true. Number two, maybe they're not lying. Maybe they really think you don't need to do anything, but they actually did do something before and they're not aware of it because maybe it was subconscious or maybe it was unrelated or seemingly unrelated to that manifestation and so that they are not aware of it. But there's always steps that you first need to take in order to even become receptive to the reality that you want to call in. Because we all get so much programming and so much conditioning and so many influences and messages from the external world, it's impossible to not be impacted by that. Manifestation is not some magic trick. And although this video is very much about energy, so that is a bit spacey, right? That's a bit woo-woo. That's not very grounded. My approach for conscious manifestation is very grounded. It's very tangible. It's very holistic. It's very emotionally integrated. There is no bypassing going on. It's practical. You don't get any fluff with me. You don't get any concepts that sound nice in theory, but you don't really know how to apply. Now, I said I wanted to talk to you about integration, which is a really important aspect of this because when you are in an energy where you are irresistible to your desires, you are in a state of wholeness. And a state of wholeness can only happen when you bring contrasting parts of yourself together and they get to meet and they get to integrate. Things always exist in duality. They always exist in a polarity with one another. Because remember, if you're trying to force things into being, you're in resistance. If you're waiting for something to change and claiming that's the energy of surrender, you're going to wait forever. And out of all of them, the most important polarity that I want to address for this specific video is the polarity between feminine and masculine energy. And now when I use the words feminine and masculine, take this with a grain of salt. If this gendered language doesn't resonate with you, that is totally fine. You don't have to use these words and it's absolutely not about gender. This applies to however you identify and we all, all of us have them inside of us. So when I speak about feminine energy, that is a receptive, open, surrendered, abundant state. And the contrast to that, the masculine energy, is a state of action, determination, containment, structure, purpose. And the reason I am mentioning these two energetics is because what draws in your desires, that state where you're just irresistible to them and they just come to you naturally, they just flow to you, that's coming from your feminine. It's when you're fully surrendered, when you're fully in trust, deeply embodied trust, when you're just present with life, when you're not doing, you're not pushing, you're not forcing, not being in lack, but being in abundance, you're just being receptive and open and you're allowing it to come through, that's when opportunities and desires and manifestations just come to you without you needing to do anything. But you're only able to manifest from that state in an authentic and sustainable way where you don't constantly flip-flop back and forth, where you don't lose the desire the moment your energy shifts, the moment you're in a bad mood, the moment you have negative thoughts come in. You're only able to do that when the masculine part is also integrated. And when you look at most manifestation teachings, they are usually heavy on one or the other. Either it's very practical and very forceful, hammering techniques in, doing, 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 and that blocks anything from coming in because you're not receptive, you're not in your feminine. 
or it's almost too feminine, so the structure is missing. There is no intentional process. You're just winging it, throwing spaghetti at the wall and hoping that something sticks. And that's when you get results where you will get some manifestations come in, but others stay away. Or you will get a manifestation come in, but old patterns are still persisting within that manifestation. And you don't feel the way you thought it would feel. And you don't feel like it's consistent or sustained. The method that I teach, the process that I teach is big on intentionality. What I guide my clients in Recreate Yourself through is a very deliberate process. Nothing in this container is a coincidence. And what happens through this process is that their state begins to shift naturally. So because having an actual intentional process is so important, the masculine basically comes first. In fact, the only reason I have been able to manifest so many of my desires so quickly and so effortlessly and I don't promote fast manifestations ever but a lot of things have come through in very expansive and fast ways and the only reason I have been able to learn to be in my feminine most of the time and to become irresistible to my desires rather than having to force anything into being the only reason I am in such deep faith and trust and conviction now is because I have a really healthy relationship with my inner masculine and in some ways, I'm a bit lucky in the sense that I've always had a pretty healthy relationship with my inner masculine. I always had a gift for structure and containment and I've always been very determined and this energy of persistence and not giving up is definitely also a recipe for my success in manifestation and in how I've changed my self-concept but even if you don't even if you are more prone to being lazy or to, to being too much in your feminine you can absolutely learn that whatever side you're on you're you can learn both and you can create that balance and you can integrate the two and bring them together one really can't exist without the other we need the polarity and we need to work with that polarity now all that being said your self-concept so that's how you see and perceive yourself how you show up and who you think you are being and what you act and behave from and react from that's the basis for the energy you get to embody when it comes to your desires and your manifestations that determines at the core when we bring it right down to the basics what you attract into your reality what you repel from yourself whether you manifest unwanted things maybe the exact opposing things to what you want to experience whether things are inconsistent or vague or partial whether you're stuck in a pattern because when you are in a place where you constantly manifest unwanted things you're also irresistible to something you're just irresistible or magnetic to the very things that you don't want and just to make a note on the word attraction you're not technically attracting anything what's happening instead is that you are embodying a state of being that naturally aligns with the reality and so what has already been present before now has the ability to come through and manifest it's not that you're pulling something towards you you're not attracting in that sense but i personally still like using it because i think it sounds good <laughs> and i think it also speaks to what you're available for what are you open to receiving your desires and the reality you want it already all exists for you it exists for you it's already here for you you don't need to wait for it that's why you have these desires in the first place because they exist it's about becoming the version of you that's available for it a while ago i did a free master class on manifestation and magnetism it was a powerful master class it was beautiful and i have not shared the replay since and i have decided to make it available again for a limited amount of time so i will put the link to that in the comments way more of a deep dive than what we just did in this video and I feel like I already gave you a lot in here and if you're seeing this video a bit late and the link is not available anymore because I am going to take it down in a week or so then please send me a dm on instagram I'll still send it to you just reach out to me directly and I'll see you again in next week's video 
hopefully feeling a little bit better.